Greetings, fellow statistic warriors. What I'd like to show you this time is how to conduct a one sample chi square. This is very easy to do. Um, I've got a data set which has uh, two variables which are measured uh, one at the ordinal at the ordinal level and one at the nominal level. They're about they're measuring postpartum depression levels. Their status is uh, less depressed, same or more depressed. Those are the three values within that category. And then postpartum depression recoded to um, two categories where it's the same or more or less depressed. Now the one sample chi-square is appropriate to use with nominal level data. That's why a recode was necessary. Now if you're not sure how to do a recode of data to the nominal level, um, th there are tutorials available, um, but I'll, I'll show you that real quick. Um, First, you want to look at is the values of less depressed, same, and more depressed. Because what we want to do is recode this where we're interested in, excuse me, more or less depressed or the same. So you can write this down where within status, zero equals the same. And anything that's negative 1 or 1 is more or less depressed. Let's say you do the recode. You go to transform, recode into different variables. This is important. Make sure you select different variables. We're going to start with our ordinal level data, which is status. And we're going to call that status well the uh, that the recoded data was already here and it was called status R for recode well, I'm going to show you how to do a recode on your own you may not always get so lucky with the data's recode and we'll just call it status one and we shall call the title of this label postpartum depression okay one doesn't really matter what you name the output variable and what you call the label as long as you uh, give it a different name and you make the information uh, useful enough so you can find the later later this is a rather small data table but if you have a large data set it can it can be a little little hard to find unless you know what you're looking for so click change and what we want to do is reset the old and new values now the old value of zero indicated that it was the same and we're going to keep that the same so the old value of zero becomes a new value of zero click add the old value of negative one will make this the new value of one and hit add where less depressed is going to a new category of one and the value of one will send to a new value of one also you have to remember these numbers the only thing that's staying the same is when postpartum is the same you hit continue hit OK SPSS tells you what it's doing go back to the data set now we need to come here on the measurement remind SPSS that indeed this is a nominal level of measurement and now define your variables the value of your variables remember zero was the same 
hit add, click add. The new value of one indicates more or less depressed. Click OK. And there you have it. It's recoded. It's, the values are probably the same. Yeah, more or less depressed. There you go. Now, we're going to do the one sample chi square on the variable status r. Oops. These two are, are essentially the same, but we're going to do it on status r. So come into analyze. One sample chi square is a non parametric test. Now you can run it with a dialog driven by SPSS by selecting under the non parametric test one sample. And you'll receive a, kind of a step by step walkthrough on what it is you want to do. You can select customize test and tell SPSS that you'd like to conduct a one a one sample chi square test where all categories have equal probability. You can click OK, run that test. It's busy processing. Really should not take that long. And this is what you get. <laughs> the categories of postpartum depression occur with equal probabilities. Reject the null hypothesis. Recoded, they do occur with equal probability, so you retain the null hypothesis. Now, what, 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 th what this is just is, is a summary, and this is why I don't like it, to use the, uh, the walkthrough, because all, all it, t it tells you is whether you're going to retain or reject the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis um, being whether they occur in equal probabilities or not. Um, when you use SPSS to generate a one sample chi square using the legacy dialog, you click on chi square and you can look here and it tells you the categories of postpartum depression where you retain the null hypothesis. are for the second one. So this is our recoded. See? Recoded or postpartum depression one. So postpartum depression recoded. Drag that onto this side. Since we since we retain the null hypothesis where all categories are equal, now we can run the report. Remember these two are the same. And all categories having equal expected values would be a good hypothesis to retain. And then you go on and hit the OK button. What it will generate is a report that compares your observed counts and your expected counts. The frequency of mothers who had same depression or more or less depression with the postpartum against the expected counts. So how do you read this? The, 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 way, the, way, the way this reads is that we had we had a higher than expected count of mothers who had uh, same depression levels. Real easy. 
Because we're comparing observed count with expected count, and then all hypotheses were already proved, was already shown that we could retain it. You could also say, well, that um, there was a less than expected count of mothers who were more or less depressed postpartum. And that's what the one sample chi-square tells you.